Hi guys, I just really quickly wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been making um, over the last few days. Um, um, I think my inspiration was getting my new stamping up haul and it really inspired me to make some baby cards. Don't know why I made baby cards but that was just the theme for the day. Um, so I'm going to show you um, basically what I made. Um, I ended up made using the we uh, the baby tea roller um stamp that I had and I must say it is great like I didn't expect the results to be so good um and as you can see they are um it's just so well stamped and it doesn't look like it's been stamped it looks almost as if it's been printed um, so what I did with this is I just layered it with um, some uh, patterned paper and some plain paper and then just literally on a piece of paper um, rolled my um, wheel in the ink stamp and um, just literally went either backwards or forwards. I didn't go back and forth. I just went one way and I must say I did press quite hard because I didn't really know how well the stamp was going to work but it's great highly recommend it to anybody um, so I made a baby boy one um, like a unisex one using like greens and lemons and then a girl one um, and for this sentiment I actually used the cuttlebug dye that said welcome baby this has got lots of sentiments on it um, and I'll show you what I did with this um, next as well okay um, and the colors sorry that I used were um, certainly celery pretty in pink and bashful blue and I must say I'm so impressed with these stamp pads that I am actually ordering um, some more um, they're just great. They just that they're, they're just really good because I think I had been using um the oh god I can't close this hold on um that's it um the Dovecraft ones initially and don't get me wrong they are really good but um I just felt that these soak up the stamp as much as you need it and they're not so runny whereas the Dovecraft ones are quite runny and you do tend to get quite a lot of ink on your stamp um, so that was the first one I just wanted to share with you then I made um, these two really cute cards um, just really simple um, this card was actually made in about two minutes and I'll show you how um, I had this, oh sorry, I had this um, set. Um, when I bought it, I initially thought that I was just buying the um, embossing folder. I've got the Swiss Dots embossing folder from before anyway, but I just wanted to have the one that was slightly um, bigger because the Swiss Dots are quite small. But with it, I got given this as a set and you're basically supposed to make a 4 by 6 card um, the way that they've shown in the picture. I um, didn't do that and the reason why I didn't use a 4 by 6 card to make these and I used a 5 by 5 card is because when I did it with a 4 by 6 I got this empty space at the bottom and I didn't like it. So when I did it with a 5 by 5 card, 5 by 5 card it didn't have any space. The only space it had was on the side, but I was intending to put ribbon on there anyway. So all I did was just literally emboss the, I'll show you, just embossed the front of this card really quickly in my big shot. And then I just cut out this square, um, got It's a Boy sentiment from this one here at the bottom. It's a boy and just cut out a baby head using my um, Sislet which is so worn out but it's such a good dye and um, just did a couple of dash lines across and then just tied the ribbon honest to god that took me two minutes um, 
so that was that design and I was really pleased with the way that came out and lastly it is just move these out of the way um, I made these little bad boys as I call them <laughs> um, these did take me quite some time because what I did was I embossed um, the side with the Swiss Dots um, embossing folder then I used um, some card just to put underneath as some colouring and the reason why I, had, I wanted to do that sort of yellow or the beige is because I wanted it to um, show up because I was colouring in the teddy bear so I didn't want it to be all pink I wanted it to have like a two way colour um, this teddy bear stamp believe it or not is one that I got free from a magazine and it stamps so well I think I've had this for about four years maybe even longer um, so I was really pleased with having to use that because I hadn't used it before and I definitely will be using it again um, and then the border I did with um, just a Martha Stewart um, border punch not sure what this one's called I've had it for quite some time and I haven't used it so um, I used that as the border and this sentiment here on all of the cards is done from this die this rubber stamp sorry um, this was one um, through eBay, this lady was clearing lots of her stamps and I didn't expect to receive this stamp because I'll be honest, it's great because it's still got the price on it and it's $20.95. So that I think in the UK is about maybe $15.50 or £16. I might be wrong. Um, and then I got given lots of other ones as well. I think it was about 15 in total. I don't think they were all at this price, but I paid £15 for the whole bundle. Um, yeah, fair enough, they had been used, but they stamp out really well, and I really liked this really vintage um, uh, typewriter font, so that was that. Um, and then I'm just going to share with you um, what I used to round, sorry, and on all of the cards, these corners with. I used my Crocodile Corner Chomper, um, great. And also, I used this glue, which is so good. I don't think I've shown this in my videos before, but it's the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. And it's got a pen tip, and it's got a broad tip. Um, I must admit, it's a really gl good glue because it's actually, when it dries, it's latex. So if you're not happy with what you've done, you can actually rub it off. So it is really good and it sticks ever so well. And I think I've had this for about three months now and um, have used it quite a bit. So um seems to be plenty left in it to be honest and I got that from the states um because I couldn't find it here um saying that I, I didn't really didn't really look because I got this for five pounds free delivery so it was a really good price and then I used my um Fiskars um stamp press this is good great because what I did was with the teddy was I just lined it up however I wanted and then it gave me the option if I just use some scrap paper if I just use that to stamp anywhere that I wanted and it is great I've got this one which is a small one and I've got the big one as well which I'll show you Um, this one it's a lot bigger but the only reason why I got this because I've got some stamps that are really big and I'll be really honest with you I couldn't find a stamping block 
um, for my really big clear stamps. So I've just um, got one of these. It's not actually glass, it's just really hard plastic or perspex. Um, and I must admit, I use this a lot because, um, like I said, I couldn't find a big enough stamping block. I could, but to be honest, it was so expensive. I think it was something like £18. I'm not spending £18 on um, a, a block just for the sake of one rubber stamp, whereas this was £10, um, and I think £2 postage, and the bigger one was 15 so that was really good. Um, but I hope you've got some ideas. If you want to purchase any of the cards that I've made or just um, check out my eBay shop, I will post the link in the description. But my eBay ID is craftycards82. Um, um, hope this helps and thanks for watching. Bye!